Hey guys, Thundee E here, and you've been waiting for your Windows 10 upgrade, still not here? Ah, same here with my Surface 3. Been clicking on that Windows icon in the lower right hand corner and nothing has come up. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to force upgrade to Windows 10. It's a simple process, but a couple of things you need to do first. Now, the first thing, of course, you can check your update history. I actually saw that my upgrade actually failed to Windows 10 uh, Home, uh, but you should go ahead and check for an update for two things. One, to see if there's a Windows 10 upgrade uh, that has come in. And second thing also to make sure that your system is up to date on whatever you're running. So whether it's Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1, um, make sure that it is updated to the latest version of that operating system. So everything is clear, whether it's a minimal update, or a big update, just check that and make sure. In this case, you're going to see that uh, we're going to have an update for um, uh, Windows Defender. Make sure we run that. So we're going to install that. Now, the next thing you want to do is back up your system. So go ahead, back it up, uh, whether it's on a, a flash drive, a hard drive or on, on the cloud on one drive, whichever case you use to back up, make sure you back it up. Then open up File Explorer, right click on this PC in the left hand corner, go to properties because we need to find out what the system file type is. Now, the second with this window is going to pop up with the Windows 8 or Windows 7 icon telling you what system type is it. And we can see it's a 64 bit operating system type. And this is very important because it's either 32 or 64 bit. You want to know that ahead of time before you in, uh, go ahead and install uh, Windows 10. Now, I'll give you the guys the link to this website with the uh, download tool for 32-bit and 64-bit versions. We're going to download the 64-bit version, and this allows us to go ahead and install Windows 10. This is my another way to basically force that update faster than um, uh, than you're actually currently getting. So there is a, a download tool. We've, we've gone ahead and downloaded it. We're going to run the file, make sure that's actually set up. And again, we'll have the link for you down in the description of this video. Uh, next thing, we want to make sure that that update that we ran for Windows Defender is all set and cleared up. So we're checking just to see that um, and the update should be done. Yes, it is. So now we can go ahead and um, basically run our update tool. Now that should pop up. Now what the update tool does is basically it downloads Windows 10 uh, of update for you and it gives you two options. One is the option to up upgrade your system. So basically doing the update and second is also make an installation file. So if you want to do a boot up drive uh, disk for um, say uh, another PC or for a friend or for fresh installation, you can do it with this tool also. Uh, now this this process is long, the upgrade process is long because it has to download, uh, it has to create files, installation disk, uh, go through the whole process. So it's lengthy, we're not gonna show you the whole thing, but you can see here it says, upgrade this PC now or create an installation uh, media, which we're gonna, so what we're gonna do is upgrade the PC, click next, and the next process here, it's going to start downloading Windows 10. Again, this is a very lengthy process. So what it's going to do is going to download Windows 10 for us. And then after downloading Windows 10, it's then going to create an installation file. So once it starts creating the installation file for us, uh, we'll be able to actually see, set that up. And then from the installation file process, um, we, we're now going to, you know, the, the setup process, then it's going to get updates relevant for your system. Um, and it doesn't go, it's going to go through that process also. And then after getting updates, uh, that's, uh, permanent to your system, uh, then it's actually going to, uh, you know, get ready to install. So you can install, do you want to uh, keep personal files or apps, or you can deselect that if you choose, but we're going to keep that because we want to keep all our applications. Now it's going to go through the installation process here which will again everything takes time just to let you know but we're going to go through that process it's going to start installing it right now it's at 13 percent. it's going to keep rising up and from this screen it gets to this screen here where it says upgrading windows and now this is where uh, the final lengthy stage is and once this is all done uh what you should have is windows 10 running on your system so right here we have Windows 10 running on our Surface 3. Uh, we finally forced out update through. You can see it's Windows 10, uh, just from, of course, the start button and all the different functionalities there as we open that up and we can see how it functions. Um, so guys, if you have any questions, any comments on how to force upgrade Windows 10, let us know. Let me know what your process is, if you've done this, if you had any issues. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, uh, favor this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is Thunder E saying thank you and Always enjoy your entertainment.